You know, I'm using eggnog as creamer. Almond nog. Wow. That's awesome. Happy holiday. Jim. And welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. So today we're going to talk about uh, a topic that one of our subscribers, Weather at a Glance, had sent us. And it's about, I would love if you did a video with your father about how your loves for meteorology started. And that's what today's Meteorology Monday is going to be about. That is what we are here today to talk about. Because it's easy to talk about ourselves, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us more than others. I will get started here on this topic. So oh, my first. love, my love of meteorology got started. Uh, so back when I was eight years old, uh, I was in third grade. So long ago. I know they had weather back then. Surprise, surprise. And one day in my elementary school class, our local meteorologist uh, came in and gave a little presentation. And his name was Bob Kovacic. He was. Uh, this was up in Albany, New York, back in the day. And uh, he came in and gave a presentation. And the funny thing is, is that it was kind of toward the end of the presentation that just something just clicked inside of me and just went, I want to do that. that. That's what I want to do. Eight years old, just right there. That's my thing. That's basically where it started. And then from there, just would learn more uh, reading books. Um, some of the school books would have some sort of weather chapter in the science section, you know, and it's just like, oh, I've only got four pages to read. And then it goes on to something else and it was disappointing, but. Uh, <laughs> Always. <laughs> that's right. So my love of meteorology really, really picked up. Um, uh, whenever we would have snowstorms or thunderstorms, I'd, I'd observe and do things like that. And eventually, a family member bought me a NOAA weather radio, so I would listen to the NOAA weather radio then uh, and get a better understanding of what they're doing, temperatures around the area. Is that the one that you still have sitting downstairs? No. Okay. No, that's like a fourth or fifth generation. <laughs> Oh. The other ones kind of just died. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then uh, my love of meteorology actually focused more on severe weather when I was about 14. There was a special on PBS or something, one of those channels back in the day. It was Nova, I think was the uh, ah. and in, in Search Of. That was the one Leonard Nimoy was giving the narration for it. And I saw tornadoes. They had Oklahoma University doing their chases. This is back in the early 80s, very early 80s. And then, you know, it just went on from there. And I started storm chasing when I was 15. And then when I could drive, I uh, had my own car and I could chase storms and had like an Instamatic camera <laughs> that I would try to take pictures and sometimes it came out okay, sometimes it wouldn't. And unfortunately back in the day, basically you had your roll of film and you put it in a little little deposit envelope and you brought it to your local CVS or whatever and they would develop it for you and a week later you go pick it up and you go, uh, that picture is okay. Oh, I think my thumb is in that one. This just came out black. I have no idea. I didn't snap that many pictures, but you get other things in there. Who knows? Uh, but that's just the way it was. Um, we also had a Super 8 video camera oh my <laughs> back goodness. in the day. That Lord, Emerus, we're was going too far back. Portable, you know, and you would have a squeeze trigger and you would just video. Um, taking that in the rain is a very bad idea. Um, and the video quality was just absolutely terrible. I've got no footage to show for that. Um, even if I wanted to, there's no way. <laughs> but that's that's how I started. And then uh, when I went through high school and I had a local university, uh, SUNY Albany, uh, that had a meteorology program there. So decided, well, I've got a local school. Uh, started thinking about, you know, did I want to go away for college? But I decided not to, knowing Good my idea. study habits. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> and I figured I'll, I'll stay local. And it was cheaper too, much cheaper. And, you know, make a long story short, went the route of um, uh, community college and then on to the four year college at, at SUNY Albany, transferring into the meteorology program. There's another video we have on. 
community colleges yep and, and the pathway going there check that out uh we probably put a link below for that definitely or, and it'll pop up one of these pop corners. up one of these corners and then got my degree at uh SUNY Albany, and then my first job was working for the National Weather Service, uh, professionally, uh, working for the National Weather Service in Medford, Oregon in 1992. Prior to that, I worked for the National Weather Service in Albany, New York as an intern, a volunteer intern. So while I went to school, I was volunteering there, and my love of meteorology just, yep, my love of meteorology just kept growing, and that's how I went from nothing to meteorology. <laughs> <laughs> how about you? Well, for me, I mean, growing up with a meteorologist father, I think it's kind of easy to see where I got my love for meteorology from. But um, I grew up in Florida. Lots of hurricanes. If you haven't been to Florida, lots of hurricanes. Check it out. Um, lots of hurricanes. <laughs> lots of hurricanes. And your job there was to forecast hurricanes. So when he would come home at night, he would print off these little sheets of like the United States and he'd be like, okay, let's draw the cold front, let's draw the warm front, let's draw the little hurricane, let's predict where it's going, let's draw like the little path. So I grab my red crayon and my blue crayon and sometimes a purple crayon, be making little little triangles on the cold front and little circles on the warm fronts. And that, that's how my nights were spent growing up. <laughs> and uh, since I was homeschooled, mom actually called it weather class sometimes. So after dad got home, we'd have weather class. And yeah, it was just always there in my life. So when it came time to um, pick something for college, um, started out in high school, naturally I went for veterinarian and that quickly changed. And when it came time for college, I was like, okay, had my little veterinarian spout in high school, but let's nail this down. I love meteorology, <laughs> been doing it since I was like, in diapers, let's just stick with that. So that's that's what ended up happening. And um, how old was I for my first storm chase? When she says I started out in diapers, <clears throat> she's not wrong. <laughs> so we were still living in Florida. We had gone to Disney World to see my parents and we were on our way back and we actually had a tornadic storm moving over. Uh, we lived in Melbourne, Palm Bay area at the time and the storms were formed and uh, we got back to our home and my wife happened to notice, she goes, Hey, look between the trees here. This this doesn't look right, does it? And I'm looking because I'm trying to get things out of the car because we just pulled in, and I'm like, yeah, that that doesn't look right. We stood there for a few minutes. It's like that's rotating. Hey, we might have something here. So I saw that we had a severe weather warning. The first thing we did, we brought her, brought things inside, got her changed, threw her back in the car, in the car seat, <clears throat> diaper only. <laughs> And we chased this thing and we got um, we got over the causeway, on, on the bridge over the causeway, looking over toward the beach in, in Melbourne Beach. And we saw the tornado actually spinning up and it actually did some damage on A1A and on, into the beach area. So uh, it was quite, quite exciting and we actually yeah. traveled through the, the damage path and everything. So unfortunately you didn't uh, no, at the time, other I mean, than... I wasn't really a part of it, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, you were along for the ride, literally. Uh, but that was her first chase. And then uh, there'd be other times that you and I uh, would be home and it would be in the evening and some storms would fire up. And again, yep. in Florida, uh, your typical storms. And I would set out some lawn chairs on, on the driveway. And That's right. You had your little, your little, <laughs> little tiny toddler, one. you know lawn chair and I had my lawn chair and we'd sit there together and we'd watch this storm just grow and the lightning shooting out and stuff like that. We were a safe distance. It was, you know, but uh, yeah, you know, we just, you'd yeah. ask questions and what's that doing? And you're looking around and yeah, that's basically how you know, you got your taste of it. Yeah. So literally since I was in diapers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So college comes around, obviously meteorology when I realized, oh, I can actually do this as a career. Like, hey, I've been doing that forever, should probably just continue with it because I know I like it. So I went to UNC Asheville, had a couple different choices, decided probably not going to OU is a good idea since I know my study habits and if there's tornadoes in the vicinity, um, would not be in class that day. So I decided to stay a little bit local, save some money, you know, go to UNC Asheville. Still a great meteorology program less tornadoes, less distraction. Went there, got my degree, and um, yeah, while well, I was there, a couple jobs that I had, I interned um, researching African easterly waves, which is the precursor to hurricanes. It's like the little group of storms that come off the African coast and turn into hurricanes. So I researched that. My senior research I did on um, tornadoes and how tornadoes have grown in 
how many there are in the United States um, and what the correlation is between that and the population growth and yeah just a bunch of severe weather e type stuff so that's what I like and uh, yeah, basically copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. That's how we got started. You know, uh, each story is unique, but there's definitely a similar thread yeah. that ties them together. Um, especially, you know, being related. Uh, obviously, you grew up in that environment. Obviously, so, it's a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, yeah, there you have it. So now that you've heard our stories, we'd love to hear yours. If you're in college for meteorology or you're planning to go to school for meteorology or if you're already a meteorologist, let us know in a comment below how you got your start. Was it an eighth grade random teacher? Was it a family member? We'd love to hear how you guys got into meteorology because it's kind of a, a small little group, you know? Not a lot of people in it. That's right, that's right. And for those of you that aren't meteorologists or aren't going for meteorology but do have a love for weather, comment below as well and let us know what was it that sparked your curiosity for it and what keeps your love for it as well. Yeah, definitely. As always, if you like what you saw today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. That's right, and you can also visit us over on our other social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram. They'll pop up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy weather beginnings. by the way, which is upsetting. <laughs> they didn't need to know. <laughs> I'll claim it. Never mind. I did. It's totally my idea. Siblings, who are they?